What's good YouTube? It's your boy Vega. Today I'm going to be talking about the Fear of God Essentials Denim Trucker Jacket. This actually released a couple of months ago in the first fall winter collection and then we recently got a restock in February and I was able to cop this dope ass denim jacket. Let me emphasize that again so you can hear me one time. This dope ass denim jacket. The reason I'm stressing it is because I'm also disappointed. Aww. I feel that in certain areas it could have been a little bit better and there's also a misconception in YouTube so I'm definitely going to kind of cl clarify uh, some of the stuff so stay tuned for that. I'm also going to be comparing this jacket to the Levi's trucker denim jacket which in my opinion is like the classic standard denim jacket so this definitely should give you a good idea on sizing and like always i'll talk about my overall thoughts the quality and of course the sizing like i mentioned if you haven't done it by now go ahead and subscribe smash the like button it really does mean a lot and also hit that bell that way you get notified every single time i drop a video but with that out of the way let's go Alright guys, let's get right into it. So first things first, I got the dark indigo colorway instead of the lighter wash. And I feel that this colorway is more versatile. I think that you could probably rock this all year round. And the lighter one is more like a spring or summer type of denim jacket. So the reason I got this again is because it's more versatile. I feel the wash on this is very fire. I don't know why they call it a dark indigo because in my opinion it's more like a medium type of wash it's not that dark um, but yeah the wash is definitely fire it's actually probably the number one thing that i really truly love about the denim jacket let me give you a quick little close-up on the denim jacket as well first things first let's go ahead and talk about the color of the denim jacket it looks clean it looks vintage it looks classic and the reason is because it has a little bit of distressing and it also has a different type of wash here and there which definitely makes it look you know vintage as well once you start going down towards the jacket you're gonna bump into these matte gold essential logo buttons these actually feel and look pretty premium i don't want to say they look like the main fear of god line but they definitely look very premium you're not going to be disappointed because it's gold it doesn't look tacky or nothing like that it looks very clean once you start getting into the body of the denim jacket you're not really going to see a lot of distress you know maybe just here and there nothing too crazy but the main part of the denim jacket it's going to be a lighter wash and then when you get to the sides of the denim jacket it has a darker tone and that is the reason why I like this denim jacket a lot because it has different washes here and there which makes it look vintage as well it looks like it's aged um, it looks like it's a little bit dirty but in a good way when you look at the sleeves as well they look you know like a lighter wash it has a like i mentioned a little bit of distressing here and there for example in that top portion right there and then once you start going down towards the uh sleeves at the bottom it looks kind of like dirty but again in a very good high quality type of way the only thing i really don't like about the sleeves at the bottom is that they're too wide man i don't necessarily want to have long wide type of uh, sleeves at the bottom but i guess this is something that i can easily fix maybe by adding another button or taking this to the tailor and just having the button moved either way it's nothing too crazy but that's one of the first things that i noticed that i didn't like about the jacket as well also in the back of the denim jacket we are hit with the essentials rubber logo right there which in my opinion looks very subtle and very nice in the middle portion of the denim jacket we have more of that lighter wash and then towards the bottom of the jacket it has more of that vintage dirty type of wash with those matte gold buttons which in my opinion looks very clean and in the inside it's nothing crazy just the fear of god essentials tag with the sizing and speaking of sizing let's get right into that Alright guys, let's go ahead and talk about sizing. When it comes down to the sizing of this jacket, I feel that this fits comfy, true to size. It's not really an official true to size fit, but it doesn't fit like super big or relaxed to call it like an oversized type of jacket. So I'm gonna say is a comfy, true to size. When we compare it to a Levi's trucker denim jacket, which in my opinion, it's more of that standard type of fit when it comes down to denim jackets. You can see that when I'm rocking the Levi's jacket, it fits right. It's not super skinny. It's not super baggy. I feel that I can rock a hoodie underneath and it's gonna feel comfy. And I feel that if I rock 
the jacket by itself with no hoodie it's not going to feel super baggy it, it just fits right when we compare it to the fear of god essentials jacket it's more of a true to size but with a little bit more room than what i was really anticipating as you can see the shoulders area that fits true to size the length on the sleeves they're pretty good that's true to size they're not super long and when we go ahead and compare the fact that the jacket is a little bit more cropped than other denim jackets it kind of gives you the illusion that it's more of a true to size as well but the body area it's a little bit more roomier when I tried to close the jacket, as you can see, I could probably close the jacket even much more than where the buttons are lined up. Um, the sleeve at the bottom, it's too wide. I wish that for those that want to rock it like that, sure, rock it. But I wish that they would have gave us an option of having a second button like other jackets out there. That gives me the versatility of like making it more tight in the wrist area. So the jacket fits good. It looks good, don't get me wrong, but in my opinion, it's not an official true to size. So to save you the trouble, I'm gonna recommend this. Go to your local Macy's, try on a Levi's Trucker denim jacket. Whatever size fits good and whatever your true to size is, if you want that same type of fit, go one size down. That's what I would recommend. If you want more of a roomier type of jacket, more of that essentials, fear of God type of fit, but not like overdoing it, not OD, then just go up one size. That's what I would recommend when it comes down to the sizing of these jackets. I, I really don't know what to do because I'm kind of like, I feel like I'm in between. Um, it fits me right in certain areas, but then I just don't like this portion of the jacket. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> If you made it this far into the video, you're probably thinking, should I get it? Should I not? You're not really telling me what to do. So I'm gonna tell you this. If you like Fear of God, go ahead and cop. If you like essentials, go ahead and cop. If you like denim jackets, if that's like your thing, just go ahead and cop. This is a very good denim jacket to have in your collection. The fact that it's not 100% what I like as far as the fit doesn't mean that the jacket is not good. That's just me being picky and I'm just a picky ass dude like that's just how it is um i just like what levi's offers as far as the fit this jacket however offers other stuff that levi's doesn't offer which is the wash the wash looks great the collar with the whole uh distressing and having different type of washes giving it more of a wear and tear vintage type of feel definitely looks good the matte gold uh, buttons give it more of that premium feel the fact that the jacket is cropped you don't really see that a lot on other denim jackets so i would definitely recommend getting it just i would recommend again it is and this is very crucial go to macy's try on that levi's trucker denim jacket and find out what your size is on that and based on that just go ahead and get the sizing that you want for this jacket. You're not going to be disappointed, trust me. That's pretty much it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you found it entertaining, if you found it informative, go ahead and subscribe, smash the like button. It really does mean a lot. And also hit that bell. That way you get notified every single time I drop a video. Also, if you're not doing so, follow me on Instagram at carlosvega101. I'm always updating the date and time on my videos, and it's just a cool little way to keep up with me as well. So with that being said, till next time, peace.